Hello there. Um, welcome to Marvin Repairs Takes Apart or whatever. Um, today I'm working on a Zoom HD 16. I've looked online to see if there were any um, videos about disassembly or how to change the hard drive or how to get at the hard drive or anything like that. So I just had to figure it out for myself. Uh, I didn't see any maintenance manuals, just the main manual. Um, so let me just uh, first, uh, this is the Zoom HD 16. Um, and uh, so basically what you want to be able to do is um, pull up the top portion of the um, unit off of the bottom portion. And it is held together with a number of screws, and you're going to need to take out the um, to take out the disk drive as well. So, what you got to do is first of all, you're gonna have to remove all of the screws along the back of the machine, and all of the screws along the front of the machine. Then on the bottom of on the bottom here let me just spin it around here so on the bottom you're going to want to take off this hatch in the middle I've already done that it's two screws some of the screws do differ um, the screws for the hard drive are different so just make sure that you know you keep the different styles in different places because also the um, screws that hold the um, disk drive in there are different as well. They're machine screws. Some of them are sheet metal style and that goes in to hold the machine together. So the first thing I would do is remove this. So there are ribbon cables that just plug in and a power cable. And it's just like an old time hard drive or disk drive. Um, it's not SATA. Maybe the newer ones are, but unfortunately this one's not. So it makes it a little harder to upgrade. But at least you can get the hard drive out and replace it with another used one. Or you can um, maybe take off the files, reformat it, uh, make sure everything is okay. Um, so then there are just... Here, let me just adjust my camera. Here we go. There are just a couple of screws here and here and a little front plate that comes off. This is the plate. So basically, that plate sits on there. But when you take those screws off, basically, then you just need to take out the four screws here and here that hold it in place. And then you can push it out. And it comes out. So if you ever need to replace this disk drive as well, you can do that. Okay. Then, once you got that screw out, there are a number of other screws under on the bottom side. So you're going to want to take these screws out. Um, basically, it's all the screws with the heads are facing the bottom here. So there's screw, screw, and then there's um, screw across the front and screws on the bottom along the side. Actually, no, those screws didn't, oh yeah, no, those screws do have to come out. Okay, yeah, so you take out all the screws on the bottom that you can reach, then you turn the whole unit over. I'll turn it towards the camera so you can see a little bit better. My little area here is a little cramped. And then once you've got all the screws out, you should be able to lift it up. Maybe I can lift it up from the back a little easier, so I'll just turn it around. Lift, and lift, lift it right up, just like this. And then you can get into where the hard drive is. I've already removed the hard drive on this one, but the hard drive is right here. So those four screws hold it in place. You lift this up and um, unplug it, take it out. And then you can just gently just don't separate it completely because there's a lot of ribbon cables. 
not hold it together. You just basically want to fold it open so you can access the hard drive. And then you can connect it to your computer and do whatever you need to do to the hard drive and or uh, back it up and uh, replace it with uh, another one. Um, I, I'm not sure if there's an adapter that you can adapt to make um, this style um, into a SATA, but if you could, then that would be nice. Um, the hard drive in this one is okay. I, they, there is um, built-in um, hard drive uh, disk check, and there's also a built-in, it's called factory initialize, which does not remove your data, but will fix any of the file system errors that are in the system. Also, and all of that is built into the firmware. So if you if the firmware is is still good in there, basically you can re reformat and rewrite the the disk. If you don't want to keep anything that's on there, if you've got a used one of these things and there's a bunch of stuff on there, you can go into that. It's pretty easy. Um, in order to get in, you hold down this clear, the, here, let me just swing this down. You hold down the clear button. There's a clear button here. Hold that down while you turn on the power and just keep holding it until it goes into um, hard drive utility mode. And then you can thumb through it. And the hard drive, the hard drive utility mode has um, has disk check, which will look for bad sectors and correct them. And it also has um, disk. It also has uh, a disk initialize and disk, which and disk initialize factory. And disk initialize factory is the one you'll probably if you have projects on here that you want to keep. It's a little counterintuitive. You want to use the factory one and not the um, full initialize. Full initialize will wipe everything out. So if you get a used one of these things and you want to start over from scratch, that's probably the first thing you should do is boot it into that mode, do the full initialize. Then I would do the hard drive check just, just, just to um, make sure that it's gone through and scanned everything. It's a hard drive scan. I think it's called scan. Anyways, so after that's done, then you should be good to go. Um, it is um, a little daunting when you look at this to try to take it apart because there's lots of screws on the top half, you know, for all of the um, mic inputs or sound inputs. Um, there's also screws across the front and you basically don't need to worry about any of that. All of that stays in place. And if you need to get into that, um, I do know that there was a video about that out there, but there was none how to get it apart. So don't be afraid. Um, it's pretty robust. It's like an old computer. Anyways, have a great day. Thanks for watching.